Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm going to show you how you can get the Betaflight 4.4 native HD OSD working on your goggles V2 with the O3 air unit when you have WTF OS installed because there is a compatibility issue which breaks this functionality in the latest DJI firmware. A few days ago, I released a video looking at how the HD OSD works on the goggles too. It was very simple, worked once I switched the canvas options under display. But for me, I could not get it working with the goggles V2 and the O3 air unit. And a lot of you were saying that it worked fine for you, no problems, you followed the same instructions, same, same steps, and everything was fine. Whereas for me, I could just not get it to work. After some troubleshooting, I noticed that there is a compatibility issue if you have WTF OS on your V2 and you're trying to use the latest firmware from DJI for the O3 side. Now, the way the goggles V2 work is it's got different partitions. So it has a partition where we have the O3 software and then it has a partition where it's got the DJI FPV system, which is the Vista, Air Unit, and so forth, and that's where the WTF OS is installed. Now, the two are supposed to be independent and not impacting each other. What was happening for me is I would install the latest firmware for the O3 side of the goggles, and it would break my WTF OS. So I'd launch WTF OS Configurator, I'd see there is a health check error, I'd resolve the health check, what would happen now is WTF OS works fine. I switch back over to the O3 side and then the HD canvas option under display would disappear. Thanks to user K1200S08, he sent me instructions from WTF OS's Discord that walks you through how you can actually get this all working. There are very specific steps you have to follow in a very specific order. It's not difficult, it is time consuming because it resets all of your WTF OS settings, but I'll walk you through how this looks like and what steps are involved. Go ahead and boot your goggles into the FPV system do-it-yourself mode, connect it up to the configurator and we want to remove WTF OS. Make sure you've backed up all your settings because this will reset everything. So let it do its thing. Then once this is done, go ahead and put your goggles into the O3 system mode and then we want to connect it up to the consumer drone series uh, software and then update it to the 1.07. Now, for some reason, I really struggled with this step and I've heard other folks saying that once in a while they get this issue with the list of firmwares won't load. For some reason, it happened to me at this point and I've never seen it before, but I tried clicking around different places hoping that it would show up at some point. I went back to firmware updates Click refresh, wait a little while, nothing happened. I came to gave up and then all of a sudden it showed up. So here I click on cancel. You can see I'm already at 1.07. I will do a refresh so I get the latest and greatest and there is no impact on the WTF OS. Once this is done, go ahead and put your goggles back into the DIY mode, reconnect it up to the FPV uh, WTF OS a configurator and now we should see some health check errors so yeah we see the health check we flip over to CLI and you want to put in a couple of commands here I'll give you these commands in the video description so go ahead and put those in there the goggles will reboot give it uh, you know 30 seconds to a minute to come back on again and then you should see another health check and this time you can go ahead and click on attempt fix and this should go ahead and resolve this kind of uh, compatibility conflict issue. Again, this will take a couple of minutes. I've sped things up here for your viewing pleasure. But once that's all done, you can go ahead and reinstall the WTF OS. Once this is done, you want to go through again and install all of your packages. So whatever you had previously has now been wiped out. You can go ahead and reinstall whatever you, you like. Definitely want to have the MSP OSD so I can get that high definition, beautiful OSD on here. And then I came across this package. This one seems like it's a new package that resolves, at least on one side, the loss of bindings when you switch between DIY and O3. When you install this package, it keeps the bindings on the DIY side. The O3 side still gets automatically lost when you switch modes, but at least this makes it half as painful. 
Once this is all done, you can go ahead and now do any other custom configuration. If you had followed my instructions on how to do the HDOSD, you're gonna to have to put all those commands back in here again. And when I say HDOSD, I'm talking about those high definition logos and, and icons and those kind of things. You gotta put all that back in here. If you did do some custom layout changes to your DJI OEM um, OSD, you'll have to reapply all those. And that's, that's a painful thing. But once that's done, go back into the goggles, do the display, and then this will work. So make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.